Here we go. As with the Integra R, the Civic Type R has been tested intensively at this Takasu Testing Center's winding course, which was designed similar to the old course of Nürburgring. The third Type R debuted in August 97. Civic R with a chassis, a generation newer, has a wheelbase 1.6 inches longer, but a shorter overhang compared to the three-door Integra R. Suspension and brakes, including the ABS, were fine-tuned after numerous tests. To increase the overall body rigidity, three performance rods were added along with a stiffer front strut tower bar. Also the body thickness around the rear bumper was increased. A 30 kilo diet and a facelift in the interior has become the usual program for the Type R. However, all the gear ratios of the Civic R were identical to the base model. Therefore, improvements in performance were due to the B16B engine, which had been downsized to 1.6 liters from the Integra R's engine. The gear ratios from first to fifth and up to the final gear are the same in these two cars as well. Geez, the Integra R is fast. Maybe I can keep up. Oops, I guess not. But the Civic R also managed to finish in the 15 second range. In comparison to the base model, the Type R engine, which has an additional 15 horses, has an earlier shift point. That results in a 0.58 second difference over a quarter mile. The sector time at the last corner in Scuba was even faster than the Integra R. Oh my! This is a circuit battle with 96 and 98 Integra R's under extremely difficult track conditions of rain and low temperatures. Here comes the Integra R. Gansan is trying to win this one on the Mazda circuit, which has very few passing points. He showed us some serious driving on the tight turns by using first gear at corner exit to avoid being overtaken. Civic is fast. The Civic car led the race and won the battle. The best motoring car of the year for 98 is the Civic R. Civic R.
Many people say Honda only changed the bumper, and it's only a minor change from the former Civic, but actually, if you take a closer look at the 98 Civic Type R, the harness had been completely altered, the uh, injection rate modified, and the CPU is different. Various parts have been fine-tuned and designed for high quality and improved performance. Up until recently, the front brake rotors, which weighed about 11 pounds, had about a 10% weight difference from production rotors, meaning there was 1 to 1.3 pound difference, or in other words, about half a kilo from the left and right rotors. Such crudeness has been greatly improved. The same can be said for the 2000 Integra R. The drive shaft, hub and hub bearings were all synchronized for better movement, which is the kind of precision work Honda has been doing for the past year or so. The battle with the Altezza and Celica at East Davis Circuit Miss shifted. Still, the Civic car passes the light tuned Altezza on the inside. Oh man, that miss shift cost me a lot. I overtook the yellow Altezza, but Gonson's Integra passed me. I'll get him. I'm much faster than the Altets on the straights. Look how I'm closing in on the Celica. The Civic car locks in on the 190 Pony 6 speed Celica. Suchia's so S2000 is right behind me. Let me challenge him on the straight after this corner. I'm like a turtle here. This car is really fast on these uphills. He nearly passes the Super Strut equipped Celica. But he waits for the next chance. Never left behind in corners, he challenges the Celica on a straightaway. Am I fast enough? Yes, I am. Sorry about that. Now I'm depressed. The Civic's faster. Oh well, that's life. When I shift to third, the VTEC doesn't work. 6,000 revs, 6,200, 6,500. The VTEC doesn't have the punch it should have. They should do something about the gear ratios. But this car is fun! The Civic car chases the Integra R to the checkered flag while being passed by the 250 horsepower S2000 but manages to keep third, leaving the two Celicas behind. The suspension on this car is absolutely marvelous. It basically understeers, but the Celica's handling and brakes are not that much different to the Civic R. The biggest difference obviously is the engine power. 
especially here on the Ebisu circuit. When this car is climbing hills in second and third gear, the Civic car has a sure advantage. How is a Civic car on flat surfaces? Eco strength at the start, but the Civic car is unstoppable after it's shifted into third. There are people that put expensive engine oil that costs $20 a quart, but I say it isn't whiskey, so don't waste your money. The formula of expensive equals high quality doesn't work here. If you're confused on which oil to use, just go to your dealer and get the oil that the manufacturer recommends. I'm sure that would be one of the better choices. You don't really have to over-prep your car to run on the track. But there are a couple of things that I would recommend. One is the modification of the oil pan baffles. This is because when you drive around on the track with semi-slick tires, which cause tremendous g-forces, the oil literally sticks to the wall of the engine, causing air to enter the engine instead of the oil. This could result in serious engine damage. The other things are the brake pads. If you go on the track with stock pads, you'll burn them up. So I recommend you install racing pads. As long as you do these simple modifications, you'll definitely have fun with these Honda Type R cars.